Well, January is about toast, and I haven't produced any tutorials this month, and I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> um, been crazy busy here at work, working on various projects, major ERP system upgrade and all that. Just more and more excuses. And I hope to get back in the swing here. I still have uh, two major projects coming up that uh, could conceivably keep me busy until the middle of February. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. Maybe I'll be done before that. Maybe I'll just uh, get a burst of energy and wild hair and produce something in between. Uh, it's tough to say. I haven't done hardly any coding or study on XNA in the past month, but um, just yesterday I was playing around with some code and got a wild hair and decided I would try to bring a 3D object into my uh, XNA application here. Um, just using the, the 2D tile map code that I had before I'm not going to really make this a tutorial, but uh, you can, you know, grab my screen here and see what I did if you want to play with it. What I, what I was doing is making objects in Blender uh, 2.6 one and exporting them from that in the FBX format, as you can see here. Uh, then I coded this guy here, just put in uh, test 3D code and um, made myself a little timer to refresh the object and change some variables on that just for fun which I did in my load uh, sorry the game loop so you can see this so in my G loop here um, did an update 3d objects change the uh, cube rotation and position and reset the timer um, what else did I do here oh yeah test 3d uh, added this little piece here to load the graphics for the cube and something I haven't been able to figure out just yet is how to take the um, take the objects uh, texture and apply it in XNA. So anyway, here's the game loop update, and then drawing is kind of a crazy deal. There's a lot of code there. I think it'd be best to add that to a class. Um, see if I can stretch that all the way over so you can see it. Uh, and that's really all there was to getting it in there, and I was successful just wish I could get it textured. Uh, there's probably just something small I'm missing there. So I'll go ahead and run that. And as you can see, it uh, just sort of spins off the screen there. I can go up and change my rotation and whatnot. I can make it spin backwards. I haven't really figured out how to change the spin direction other than forward and backward. So um, a lot of stuff to learn here. I've done very little 3D programming and so I don't have a lot of experience there. What did I just do? Oh, yeah. So you can see the spin direction there changes. I don't know how that shows up with Cam Studio but it'd be interesting to see. Anyway, uh, on top of that, been brainstorming of course my website which is just a shell um, monkeyed with that a little bit. Starting to play with some CSS3. Um, it's still pretty hollow. It's embarrassing. <laughs> um, I tend to get go into experimentation mode and not get anything important done. So thought about resurrecting my old site but I'd really like to move forward with that and do something. Of course, that's time-consuming as well, something we don't have. Anyway, uh, hopefully 
be able to get back in into code mode and uh, start messing with stuff again. It's kind of been something I wanted to do, but just need more time and energy. <laughs> I I don't know. I d disabled my tile map for some reason. Even though this is up here, the it supersedes the 3D drawing, which I found interesting. See how that just kind of goes behind the 2D drawing. Not sure why it does that. Lots of stuff to learn there. Anyway, if uh, anybody else makes any progress and you have some pointers, uh, that'd be great if you'd share them. I'm still extremely new to XNA and uh, lots to learn there. And I still have uh, Calamus One's code that I have to chew up. He made a wonderful um, uh, map editor and uh, shared his code with me so I could kind of learn what he was doing there. He had a great way to save and load files in a byte format and it's very, very cool. But again, I haven't had time to really dig through it, so that's where I'm at right now. I will catch you.